Tech Leopards, and today we are at Repticon Houston, located at the Pasadena Convention Center. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Sindel. Sindel. Yay! Sindel holding Beamer. <laughs> It's a waste of time. It's like super orange tree. Oh yeah, those are super cool. Looks like a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, these are pretty much a crowd favorite, the Mystic Potions. And, oh, yeah. And the there Karma. There's a nice pastel banana clown. Hello. Fat little gecko. <laughs> there <laughs> she is. <laughs> Fat little gecko. Fat little gecko. Zenic Serpents, go by and see us. Yay! Yay! <laughs> The contrast is just crazy. He's so pretty. I like the shirts too that y'all have. <laughs> Those are awesome. <laughs> Baby uh, Lichiana. So many. <laughs> Pretty too. This one looks almost pink. Like, I don't think I've seen one like that before. Oh, they start out so little. <laughs> I've heard they're kind of hard to breed because they, yeah, they just bond. Pairing them. Yeah, pairing mm -hmm. them. Tricks. So cute. Well, thank you. Get the world off. <laughs> They're so tiny. 
this is Silverton, and the other one is Bijou. Look at little heart. <laughs> oh, Bijou. <laughs> what do you think of those, Maggie? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey what's up guys so this is Georgie um, it's Monday uh, this past weekend was we'll wrapped up on Houston I've got about 10 minutes before I have to go to work but I wanted to take the opportunity um, to have some extra lighting and show y'all what I got at the show because you can't just go to a reptile show and not pick anything up and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick. First thing I got, I picked this little bugger up on Saturday. This is my second crested gecko. Um, this one I believe is called a yellow. I think she looks more creamy. Uh, I'm hoping it's a she, hopefully. And I decided to name her Leche. I just had to have her. She's really, really, really pretty to me. And not like anything else I've seen. And I plan, if this one turns out to be female, I would love to get like a super Dalmatian male um, to breed her with and get some super Dalmatian um, yellows in the future. Oh, that was a big jump. So that's Leche. Oh, that was awesome. You're so cute. So my second pickup that I got at the show um, was actually my very first ball python. Check her out. Now, I don't know if I plan on breeding these or not, but I've always wanted to kind of have one. And this one in particular is a Mystic Potion female. And I just love the Mystic Potions. And um, I got a female so that I can grow her up. And if I do decide to breed, I've got a breeding female available. So, but for now, she's just gonna be my little buddy. But the breeder I got her from, um, they're a really awesome couple. They have two very sweet children. And um, they actually bought a leopard gecko from me last year to uh, for their daughter. Um, they were next to me at a, a, at a Repticon, and uh, so we were bending next to each other all day long. We got to be kind of good friends, and um, at the end of the show, they decided to pick up one of my leopard geckos. Um, and so at this show, they brought her to show her to me how big she's gotten, and she's so fat and healthy, and uh, they actually ended up uh, doing a partial trade for my big white and yellow pet raptor meal. Um, and then I got this girl as part of our trade agreement. So I gave them their first leopard gecko and they gave me my first ball python. So. For a few like kind of not as fun things that I picked up at the show, I got these um, gecko feeding wedges from Gecko World Austin. He's also in the video. He's awesome. He really knows his stuff. He takes very excellent care of his animals. He's awesome as a person to talk to or ask questions about. So I highly recommend him as a breeder if you're looking for some awesome crested geckos. Yeah, so got both of these. And then I got these disposable feeding cups because I've been bad about washing my little Gatorade caps that I've been using as feeding bowls. I'd rather just have disposable where I can just feed them and throw them away because they're more likely to be fed more often. Also, I wanted to give a big thanks. I did that big, big thanks. But I wanted to give a, a big thanks to this girl I met at the show, a little 13 year old girl named Sindel. And she helped me um, since I was working in the booth alone on Sunday. My fiance had to work. Um, she was there and basically just out of the kindness of her heart offered to watch my table so I could go to the bathroom. She offered to take my dog out to the bathroom. Um, she was just a real good lifesaver there. She also helped me film a couple of things 
and also watch my table so I can get away and film some footage. So big thank you to Sindel. She had a lot to do with this video and she's just a really, really sweet human being, which is kind of rare these days. So thank you Sindel for all your help and I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. If you can, share with your friends. I would love to help build this channel up. Um, I felt like RustyCon this past weekend was a super awesome show. Um, met a lot of people, made some friends, uh, got to hang out with some older friends that I already established and catch up with people and sell a bunch of animals and take a few home with me as well. So all in all, it was a fantastic show. Um, I'll let y'all know when I plan to go to another expo. I do not have my next one lined up just yet. But when I do, I will be posting it. You can bet I'll be posting it on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, um, and that would really help me out. This has been Georgie about Tech Leopards. What you doing over here? <laughs>